It has been a total of 10 years ever since Paw Patrol started its first takeover on the Nick Jr. block. As you can see, this is a lineup from May 23rd, 2014. Back then on Nickelodeon. It has been a decade. And as you can see, there is a lot of Paw Patrol from 8.30 a.m. all the way to 1 p.m. This is the start of a new Dark Age. When Paw Patrol has been oversaturated a lot. And this, and people thought, yeah, maybe this will just last for one day. Fast forward to now, and the Nick Jr. block has been crammed with nothing but Paw Patrol, save for some exceptions like Blaze, and maybe a new show, unless they get screwed over, unfortunately. Or one that luckily gets reruns like Gabby or Kiri and Lou. And then you get, like, Walla Kazam, Kazam at, like, 1 p.m. Walla Kazam at 1 p.m. And you know what happened to Walla Kazam after that marketing. It ended up on the Nick Jr. channel with burn-offs. This really brings to a new perspective on how Nickelodeon treated Paw Patrol a lot. Way too much. How they've been mistreating other Nick Jr. shows. How they've been mistreating acquisitions faster. How many couldn't get a chance over the fact that Nickelodeon cares more about Paw Patrol on ratings. Like I said, I don't hate Paw Patrol, but Nickelodeon does need to calm down on it. Even though I am glad on its current state that at least we have some difference, this did start a brand new Dark Age in my book. And Paw Patrol became a huge thing to Nickelodeon. Even though it's not an original, it's an acquisition. From its primetime premiere, which I actually used to like Paw Patrol, all the way to losing its educational focus in favor of being more merchandise driven. This brought to a new era that many have been concerned and are still concerned about as the Nick Jr. treatment is still going on to this day. Anyway guys, I can't believe it. It's been 12, 10 years, ever since we got Paw Patrol to start its takeover on the Nick Jr. block. Anyway guys, this is Kawhi Life Antonio, signing off. Peace.